Hello everyone, this is David Arrujo and today I'm going to be discussing uh, one of the six value paintings that I've done for a cowboy project that I've created for myself. Uh, it's basically to showcase some portfolio pieces uh, on my website. Uh, and this one that you're seeing here, these thumbnails were done last week and so now I want to move forward with the project and create some value paintings based on them. So I've chosen the saloon first. The reason why I did that is because I considered the original design that you can see in the left top corner quite weak. Um, so I thought, you know, if I was the director or the producer, uh, I would have most likely made that request. I would have looked at it and said something like, okay, compared to the other interior shots, it doesn't look like uh, they would have been inside this building. So can you please redesign the exterior? And uh, there you go. So as you can see, I always start with perspective first, some tight line drawings, um, you know, get all that, you know, sorted first. I've changed obviously the camera angle that was, um, you know, uh, compared to the original thumbnail. And uh, also obviously because it's, you know, a, a longer shot, it gives me a bit more work but that's all right you know as long as the, the the image you know the value painting the shot everything as long as it sells the idea behind the saloon and you know um it gives a good sense of where it is located then it's all uh well invested now this one uh took about four hours a little bit over maybe because i had to move back and forth between photoshop as well uh, for stuff like the text and I did some uh, tone modifications and stuff like that also in Photoshop um, so you know uh, I do tend to move back and forth on some of the value paintings this was actually also maybe important to know the last value painting that I drew um, but I decided to put it all the way in the front in the first uh, video uh, why? Because it actually introduces the saloon uh, from the exterior, and I think that's uh, quite an important shot. Um, <clears throat> so the thing here is, you know, the important thing, especially for me, was the values, the the tones. You know, the the composition was already more or less set, but the lighting was extremely important, and I did have some difficulties with that at first. It has a lot to do with the fact that I didn't. Um, you know, use too much photo reference uh, to, you know, look at like what Western scenario lightings are set up like. Um, so, you know, I ended up basically kind of like winging it based on my own understanding of what it looks like. I know, for example, that they have hard shadows in these areas. Um, and then later on, you won't see it yet because I made that correction later on. Uh, but you'll see that these hard shadows also have a much more brighter um you know, uh, opposite, uh, wherever the sun is hitting. Um, so, you know, these are all things that were very important to, to keep in mind uh, for this shot. Like here, for example, you can see it already, uh, you know, the contrasts and the tones have already been, uh, modified, uh, big time. And that, you know, the reason why you see that change so drastically so fast is because at this point I had gone into Photoshop and then I come back, uh, with a modified, um, you know tone structure and values and stuff like that. that the most important thing for me is that at the end of the day as long as the shot sells the idea the feeling um you know whatever you're trying to convey that's very important and that's where all this composition lighting um you know values and all that stuff comes into play so there you go this is the first one of six uh you can look in the descriptions below to get all the links and uh, i hope you like it all right see you guys on uh, the other videos